when did learning become a luxury instead of a right when did knowledge one shared freely around fires and open fields turn into something only money can buy in this age of endless learning and the expensive courses how do we make education belong to everyone not just to those who can pay for it if education truly has the power to lift us all why do we still build the walls of money that keeps so many from reaching it could technology be the bridge that unites us all in the pursuit of learning let us dive into the video let us revolutionize friends good day to everyone long before schools long before books even long before words knowledge was shared freely among animals it was passed through instinct through imitation through the rhythm of life itself a young bird learned to fly by watching its mother a wolf cub learned to hunt by running with the pack learning was natural shared free and when we were undergraduates it was no different for us we learned by observing by trying by failing by teaching one another around fires and in open fields knowledge was not owned it was lived it belonged to everyone it flowed freely from one mind to another from one generation to the next then came language and with it writing we began recording thoughts ideas and discoveries humanity's greatest leap yet also the beginning of a quiet divide books became precious and those who hold them held the power access to knowledge slowly shifted from the collective to the privileged few as kingdoms turned into nations and education into institutions the divide deepened the privileged built walls of paper and gates of gold and placed knowledge behind them and once they discovered that education could create power they made sure to keep that power protected they designed system to preserve it those without it were told to wait generation after generation even today that pattern continues only the faces have changed private institutions with their glittering campuses and soaring promises charge fees that could feed families for years a child born into a poor home may dream as brightly as anyone else but to turn their dreams into reality cost money no for many a college degree has become a distant dream a dream wrapped in numbers forms and debt college seats come with fees learning comes with limits education once the light that lifted us all now often shines only where money can reach for millions the choice is cruelly simple learn or survive many begin working before they can finish study not because they lack ambition but because life won't wait and the irony is painful even if one manages to earn a degree it is no longer enough the world moves too fast technology evolves each day new skills new certifications new courses the ladder of learning keeps stretching upward but the cost of every rung keeps rising so where does that leave the poor student the one with the talent with the drive with the dreams but no means trapped between survival and ambition forced to choose work over learning not because of laziness but because of life we talk about equal opportunity but we still live in a world where money decides who gets to learn and who must remain in the dark somewhere along the way we forgot that 
education was never meant to be sold it was meant to be shared like sunlight hair and like hope itself it was never supposed to belong to the privileged few it was meant to lift us all let us see if technology can help us here education should not be decided by wealth talent not money should define success if inequality in education is built on economic barriers then technology can help us break them down we can build a two tiered national model one that ensures every student has the chance to success access continue and prove their learning no matter where they come from or how much they earn many students complete school but never step into college not because of ability but because of affordability to bridge this gap we need to create a digitally accessible government backed education system that ensure higher education is not a privilege but a right first all lectures from government colleges across every subject should be recorded and uploaded to a public online platform like a government run portal every learner regardless of income location or social status can access the same knowledge freely next government's learning platform poor and underprivileged students can register on the learning platform using biometric identification linked to their national id this ensures authenticity and prevents misuse the platform can integrate smart attendance tracking during online video sessions the system randomly prompts students for biometric verification like a quick fingerprint scan confirming their presence and engagement this becomes their digital attendance record transparent and tamper proof next students meeting the minimum attendance criteria automatically become eligible to appear for exams all the exam centers biometric authentication confirms their identity preventing impersonation or fraud also for courses that require hands on experience engineering computer science chemistry the government can set up district level practical labs equipped and open to registered students for practice sessions and experiments these labs can also serve as official practical exam centers supervised and monitored ensuring that even online learners gain the same credibility as regular college students finally after successful completion the system automatically generates a government recognized degree or provisional certificate the degree is directly mailed to the student's registered postal address verified through their biometric linked national id no corruption no middleman just merit and fairness in today's fast evolving job market a single degree is no longer sufficient individuals must continuously upskill to remain relevant however most paid private courses are prohibitively expensive and often exclude economically disadvantaged individuals to make lifelong learning truly inclusive and accessible the following measures are proposed firstly government institutions and public universities should regularly release updated and industry relevant online courses in emerging fields such as artificial intelligence blockchain data science renewable energy robotics and more on the public platform these courses must be on par with private paid programs in terms of quality and relevance it should focus on practical application based learning rather than theory heavy content it should be accessible to all especially those from lower income backgrounds the government can also partner with private coaching institutions offering subsidies in exchange for making their educational content publicly available on the national learning platform this initiative would democratize access to advanced education system and bridge the opportunity gap between the wealthy and the poor anyone 
whether through the government platform or other resource should be free to learn these topics learning should be flexible and accessible to anyone any time anywhere individuals whether employed or seeking jobs must be able to learn at their own pace without being restricted by fixed academic calendars this flexibility is essential for those who work full time or support their families while pursuing education learning is powerful but it becomes meaningful only it is recognized many free learning resources already exist online but for millions of poor learners the real barrier is certification the document that proves their ability to employers for that we need a centralized government backed evaluation and certification platforms that ensure credibility and fairness students can register using biometric authentication in this evaluation platform and they appear for exams conducted at authorized centers or through secure online systems upon successful completion credible certifications are then issued the evaluation process should be available on demand or at regular intervals to accommodate all learners it should maintain high quality standards to earn recognition and respect from industries the courses also need strong promotional efforts through social media and public campaigns like other private players to create awareness and participation once issued certificates are also mailed directly to learners registered address verified through their national id and biometric record by making certification affordable and trusted we unlock the final door that keeps talent hidden to streamline employment opportunities and promote transparency the government should establish a centralized skill set registry a national database recording the verified qualification and competencies of all students and professionals every student registering for government backed online degree programs or traditional college degree would automatically have their degree details added to their biometric linked profile upon successful completion also certifications from government backed evaluation program or recognized private institutions can also be linked in the same manner ensuring a comprehensive record of each individual skills this creates a lifelong learning profile that updates automatically as individuals acquire new qualifications the consolidated database should be accessible to all verified employers and organizations employers can search for candidates with specific skill sets and directly contact suitable profiles for interviews this would pave way for faster and more accurate recruitment processes equal employment opportunities for skilled individuals across all socio economic backgrounds reduced hiring cost for companies if employers are unable to find the candidates with a specific skill set they can notify the government through the same platform the government in turn can instruct educational institutions to develop or update courses addressing those skill gaps this creates a continuous feedback loop between industry demand government planning and education institutions ensuring that the nation workforce remains future ready as a proof we will present the functionality of key modules let's check it
the solution proposed here and the functionality demonstrated is just a concept vision it may not be perfect it may have its own flaws but i want the content to serve a bigger purpose to spark awareness ignite global conversation and to trigger even better ideas we deserve a world where knowledge is not locked away only for the privileged begin walls of money but it becomes an open ocean for all let us make learning free again free not just in cost but in spirit thank you